today's video, this woman regrets leaving the nice guy now that he's winning. I'm Griffin, this is my mind, stay on the path of progress, and let's get into it. Bro, what? What is going on in this clip, dude? She's like hugging on this dude and holding this other dude's hand. Oh, bro. Oh, God. Damn. She kissing on this dude but holding your hand. And can we zoom in on this dude's face? This is the look of sheer, utter defeat. He has completely lost his balls. Welcome to the circus. All these people belong in it. I was talking to my girlfriend, and she just... <laughs> That's not the laughy part. That's not... He big simp. Ha ha. Big funny. Big simp. Uh -huh. And remember, remember... When you guys are arguing, she's responding to her DMs. Okay. The second there's any sign of stress, she immediately starts looking for another dude. Okay. This is not serious girl behavior. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I just came back from the gym. I got protein shakes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You better stop that sipping over there. Get him out of here. If your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he said, baby, can you cook me a meal? Would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? No. Just be on, being on the What about you, Kiki? It all depends on how I'm feeling. All right, it depends. Oh, you well, another depends. It depends on the situation. Here's another question. If an intruder broke inside the house, would you or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door? Natasha. Absolutely. Allie. Yes. Kiki. All I'm saying is if you don't, it's over after that. Uh, yeah, I would expect that. How is it a fair deal? These are so different. Like, and if you don't and know, the other one you're going to die too. So it's not about the situation. It's about to masculinity, protecting and providing. So if you're not not giving what we are naturally attracted to it's not a fair deal if we have to always give you what you're naturally attracted to a b that's going to protect you that's the common narrative of today every single man has to adhere to his masculine standard but every single woman doesn't have to adhere to a feminine standard she can be traditional or she can be modern just whatever suits the moment you just got married today wait wait hold on so is love worth it no Wait, I'm wait. single in Miami. Who cares? Then what's making you unworthy to men because you don't sound like you're getting respected either? You can definitely say that it's your fault that you do that you're never going to get a husband. So, well, I, one, I never said that I wanted a husband. I'm single by choice. Right. That by being a respectable woman, I'm doing nothing to gain respect from men. By having a normal what occupation a and job that I'm woman? not doing anything to gain respect. Well, your definition of normal is like totally your own definition is it my own or is it the rest of the world's also and you're the minority of women that thinks the opposite it's just your opinion babe i think um, that's wrong keep going yeah i think the rest of the world definitely thinks that women that have normal jobs that don't sell their body online are respectable did you so. personally take a poll with the rest of the world mm, i, I, I don't thing? need to i think they did <laughs> there was a poll and the poll unanimously stated that can't turn Good for this woman for standing up and rejecting this degeneracy. As a matter of fact, she gets wifey of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. Wifey of the day for rejecting regeneracy. Regeneracy? Okay. Congratulations. Does body count matter? No, I heard it doesn't. It doesn't matter because it's a stereotype where boys can have a very high body count, but girls have to be below 10, and that's retarded. You've heard about the about the key in the lock, right? If one key can open many locks, it's a master key, as opposed to if a lock is opened by many keys, it's a shitty lock. That's what I'm saying. Hey. But why can guys have the any girl they want to and it doesn't matter? Do you care about if a guy has a high body count? No. Do you care about if a woman has a high body count? Yes, only because the woman decides whether she wants to have or not. The guy only gets to have who he's allowed to have with. Girls have the same wants and needs. Is that not, is that not true? What's a high body count to you, Bash? I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about numbers. I'm just saying, guys can have with who they're allowed to have with. So do we? Girls have with who they want to have with. Is that is that is that not true? Come That's on. not true. You guys ever realize that it's the obviously promiscuous women that think body count shouldn't matter? Hmm, what a coincidence. If you know any good women and you ask them if body count matters, they're like, yeah, of course it does. Absolutely, of course it does. Women with high body counts are 304s. I wouldn't just let myself get used like that. Promiscuous women are telling on themselves and they don't even know it. Right, I'll put the helipad over there. 
I'll put my Olympic size swimming pool over there. The five bed mansion can go over. This is a map on fertility rates state by state in 2005. Most states around the country had a pretty significantly high fertility rate, at least compared to now. Change that map to the year 2021, and it is a shockingly different picture. The entire country significantly declining since 2005. In the grander scheme of things, the United States of America today is at an all-time low fertility rate. And 43 states across our country in 2020 recorded their lowest rate in more than three decades. As a result, total population growth in the United States actually hit an all-time low in 2021, and now up to one in every four pregnancies are estimated to be ending in miscarriages. Why is no one talking about this? Why is no one asking if massive birth control consumption might be linked to this? Why is no one demanding an environmental impact study from chemical abortion pills who have active metabolites after you've taken them that get flushed into our wastewater system? Why is no one asking about exercise rates or diet or the impact of the pharmaceutical industry in our fertility rate. Is nobody alarmed by this? Because we should be. These are the fertility maps comparing 2005 to 2021. And as you can see in 2021, it's plummeted. It's basically been cut in half. Could you ever cheat on me? Absolutely. That's why I don't make dumb decisions like talking to guys one-on-one -on -one or hanging out in like compromising situations because I'm a human being, you're a human being and I, I'm sorry babe, I don't know if this is hard for you to, to hear but everybody is absolutely <laughs> capable of infidelity in the right slash wrong circumstances. Oh, okay. That's why boundaries are so important. You're never going to see me in a situation even if people think I might be too strict. I don't care because I'm not taking that chance. Amen. I'm not putting myself in a position to even be close to a position to potentially fall to temptation. I'm going to keep it 100 because anyone is capable of cheating, but I will not be cheating on you. Excellent. I love that. I love you. Smart women understand that women are emotional. There's a reason why you hear that phrase just, oh, I don't know what happened. This one thing led to another and all of a sudden we were in bed together. There's a reason why you hear that. It's because she might not actually know what happened. It was the right guy with the right game at the right time. That's why it's so important for her to never put her in a situation where that's even a possibility. And that's also why it's so important that you have boundaries as a man. Daddy. <laughs> Mom's on some weird vibes right now. Two million dollars a month in child support. <coughs> Ten years, I got married young. I was 21, barely, like three days, 21. Um, already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. And I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning, like that I wasn't going to make it. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was fighting for me. I was pushing him away. Um, but I, I never truly accepted happiness. I left the good guy. <laughs> he looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband. That's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes. He cleaned the house. He took the kids to school. He worked all day. He made good money. He supported us. Um, I mean, yeah, we had our problems, but he was the good guy. So I'm here to tell you <laughs> It's okay to leave the good guy. And the regret settles in, thinking she's going to have the same level of options as when she was young. Nope. Now she's going back into the dating market in her 30s with children. We've seen this story play out over and over and over. It doesn't have a happy ending. Yikes. Big yikes. Uh-uh. Terrible.